Today, we're going to be talking about adding contact groups to Happy Fox. Uh, before we get started, we're first going to talk about what a contact group actually is. And in Happy Fox, of, of course, your end user is going to be submitting a ticket to you, and that's what we consider a contact. And what a contact group allows you to do is it allows you to actually group those different contacts into a group that you can then automate based off of, you can report based off of. Uh, each individual end user of that contact group will be able to log into a support portal and view the tickets of their team as well. Um, so basically what it gives us the opportunity to do is it gives us the opportunity to um, take a look at not only an individual's tickets, but again, uh, it lets us organize information for a group of uh, contacts. To get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the main menu in the upper left-hand corner. And once we've opened up the main menu, we're going to scroll down in the first left-hand column and we're going to click on contacts. Now again, coming in here, uh, when you have a brand new account, you might not see any contacts in here. You might not see any contact groups yet set up, of course. Um, but what we're going to do today is we're going to start our first contact group. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the little tab here that says contact groups. And as you can see, nope, no contacts yet, no contact groups here yet. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add the plus sign, and that will then give us the availability to add that contact group. Uh, now from here, it's as simple as adding a name for the contact group. So in this case, we'll call it Happy Fox. You can leave a description here if you want to. And what's cool about the way that we've designed the contact group is that you can either add contacts to this group manually. So as a contact's coming in, you can add them to this group. Or what you can do is you can actually say, if a contact emails me or creates a ticket from this particular domain, automatically add them to this contact group for us. Right? So as you can see here, we've now called this Happy Fox. We're asking the system to automatically add contacts from the domain of Happy Fox. And keep in mind, you can add additional domains here. You're not limited to just one domain. All you need to do is put a comma there and then type out whatever additional domain it is that you'd like to automatically add contacts from. All right, now once we've uh, added our domain, we're going to click Save at the bottom left-hand corner. And as you can see now, we've created our contact group. And from here, it's very, very simple to add a contact. Again, they'll either start coming in automatically based on their domain that we have set up in the contact group, or we can add a contact here. What we'll do is we'll search for a contact by name. So in this case, I'll look for myself. You'll notice that my name might appear more than one time, so I can actually determine exactly which uh, Lauren Soto in the system I'd like to add to this group. And once I've done that, now I'll go ahead and add that person to the group. So as you can see, we've successfully added a contact to our Happy Fox contact group here. And if we did want to give this particular person visibility into all of our group's tickets, all we do is toggle this switch here. And now this particular contact will have access to all of their group's tickets in the Happy Fox Support Center. Again, there's a lot of other great things that we can do with contacts. We can automate uh, based on our contacts. So if we wanted to make sure that, uh, let's say a particular customer had a, a higher uh, service level agreement and we wanted to make sure that our team prioritized those types of tickets, we could create a smart rule based on that. Uh, if we wanted to report on all the tickets that a particular contact group brought in in a, in a specific period of time, we can report on that as well. Uh, so a lot of great things that you can do with contact groups. Uh, for more information, feel free to check out the Happy Fox University here in the upper right hand corner, or you can always go to support.happyfox.com and check out our knowledge base for all the information you might need.